camera, you done? All right. Mm. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna start a different series called Holy Sheet. I know, I think I'm clever. If you don't think I'm clever, that's fine. You don't have to watch it. But really, please keep watching. Ooh, my hair. Ooh. All right, so today we are going to talk about five different sheet masks. I'll go ahead and give you my opinions on each of them. All right, the first one we're gonna talk about is Pure Smile in Cherry Blossom. It smelled nice, it was just a, a fresh scent, not like cherry blossom or anything, just kind of smelled like a baby wipe. I left this on for 20 minutes. Uh, I rubbed it in after I was done and it took about 30 minutes for it to stop being tacky and shiny. I didn't notice any drastic changes. My skin was very moisturized, so this was a good mask, just nothing, nothing special. Oh, and I got it for $1.50 at Wajimaya. Next, we'll talk about the Imperial Bird's Nest by My Beauty Diary. I got this one for $2 at Wajimaya. This mask is a 30 minute mask, so I left it on for 30 minutes. Uh, it had a really nice fit, if I remember correctly. And after the 30 minutes, I just massaged it into my skin. It took about another 30 minutes for it to completely dry down. Next mask we're gonna talk about is the Brightening Mask by The Secret or it's called The Secret Brightening Mask. It's by Nashter. And I got this one from Waji, uh, I got this one from Wajimaya also. This one was $3, so it's a little bit more, it's like the middle of, it's like the middle tier of the mask prices. So I was expecting a little bit more from this, and the packaging is so pretty. Wasn't super impressed. My skin did look really bright and pretty, but I still had dry skin patches, which I've never had when I take off a mask, like no matter what it is. So a little bummed about that. Uh, this is a two piece mask, so there is like a bottom part and then a top part. They stayed on pretty well though. Uh, after I rubbed all of it in, it did dry down after about 30 minutes. All right, and now this, this is the moisturizing with hyaluric acid. Hyaluric. Hyaluric acid. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, then maybe next time. But anyways, this one is also by My Beauty Diary. I also got this one for $2 at Wajimaya. Sorry, that's my favorite place to shop. Um, this one was definitely the highlight of my week. Uh, I put it on. It fit the best, I think. It was super saturated. Uh, I left this one on for, hold on real quick, for 20 minutes and rubbed it in. After about five minutes, it was almost completely dried down. Like my skin was super moisturized. I loved that. Uh, it looked bright, it looked pretty, it looked plump. Um, so like I said, this one's my favorite. This is my favorite of the week. And for my least favorite. Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore. This is a paper mask that I got from Target for $2.50. This did not fit well. The smell of this made me really not feel good. Like, I love coconut. I use coconut oil. Um, it's one of my favorite things to put all over my body. This was nauseating, the smell of this. It's so, this, I used this like days ago and I can still smell it. I, oof. But, like I said, if you really like coconut and you're not sensitive to fragrance, then maybe you'll like this. I didn't, I'm not sensitive to fragrance, like I love fragrance, but this was just a little bit too much for me to want to put on my face for an extended amount of time. Okay, so speaking of that, I put this mask on for 10 minutes, that's how long it said. Um, it was tingly and uncomfortable the whole entire time. I'm no stranger to tingly masks or even like tight, uncomfortable ones. This one I just really didn't like, like it was almost like a burning tingle, which is something weird for a face mask because they're supposed to be more gentle. Uh, didn't didn't like this. Oh, and after 30 minutes, I was still really sticky and gross feeling, so. All right, and so those are all the masks that I have today, just to paraphrase real quickly. This one was my favorite. These three were okay, but probably will not repurchase. And this one I will never buy again. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this series idea. If not, that's okay too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.